Okay, today on Blog Success Journal, we're going to talk about how to manage your affiliate links. Once you actually start getting a lot of affiliate partners, and you've got all these links, and they can be, you know, like this long, they're terrible. How do you manage them? How do you include them in email? Most of them are too long to even fit in a Twitter stream. What do you do? Nobody wants to click on those ugly things. Okay. Um, what happens, think about this, a much bigger problem. What happens if you want to change one of these links later and you've got it hard coded in 50 articles and 50 places on your site and you've sent it in emails and this guy went out of business or he took his page down. What do you do? How do you manage that? If you're like us and you have you know, dozens or hundreds of affiliate partners, each one you're testing different ads, different campaigns, it's going to be a nightmare. This is what we're talking about today, how to make that easy. And today's show is brought to you by HostGator, the only web host that we actually recommend to our friends and family. And we got you a really sweet deal, okay? If you go to blogsuccessjournal.com slash HostGator, you can start your blog today for just one penny. That's a great deal. You should take advantage of that. So, managing your affiliate links in a simple, easy way, okay? That's where this, uh, this particular software we're talking about called Pretty Links comes in. This is a uh, WordPress plugin. It's real simple. It's a WordPress plugin that lets you manage those big ugly links, you just say create new link and you put the affiliate link and you put the very short version of it, it creates uh, whatever my, whatever your site.com is slash x293 or you can make yourself slash whatever my product is. You can make a nice clean link and, and guess what? That little link is much shorter, you can tweet it um, but more importantly if this guy goes out of business, if he changes it, you can change it in this one place and all your links all through your whole site will be pointing to the new thing. And, and we're Bitly, we're big Bitly fans. We use Bitly sometimes, but it's really nice to have all those leaks actually integrated into your WordPress setup, and you can see all the clicks and all the tracks right there in one tracks, all the clicks on one place. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, there are other link tracking uh, other link management tools also, like Link Tracker, for example, which is a hosted service. Still not quite sold on reliable. We're, we're big. We're really you know about reliability. You know, everything's mm -hmm. got to be super reliable. So I'm not quite sure about outsourcing that just yet until it's a real foolproof service. So yeah, we've meantime, had issues with that with the ad networks in the yeah. past, almost bringing our whole site down. So be careful what you link to. Because a lot of people don't realize <laughs> everything you embed on your site can potentially bring your site loading to a halt. If you got a widget at the top right of it, and that site that you're framing the widget from is down for a while, guess what? Your whole page stops loading at that one place. No footer, no sidebar, no nothing. Okay, back to affiliate links and pretty links and yeah. stuff. Um, you can actually use pretty links and these other tools to mask your affiliate links. And you're like, well, why would I want to mask? Mask my affiliate links. I mean, first of all, they're ugly, but there's a lot of other reasons for masking them. Yeah, you know, it, it, this is kind of, I can't even understand that, that, that thinking. But anyway, some people just think you shouldn't be making money from your site. It's okay to go to a job all day and make money from that, but you shouldn't be making money from something you enjoy. That's just bad. It makes you a bad, bad person. As long as you love puppies, you're okay though. Anyway, so, so sometimes, um, I guess more in the techie niches, but a lot of times you'll get somebody who, who if he sees something that looks like an affiliate link, he may not want to click on it. So you know what? If you just make it masked by your own domain with something like pretty links, it'll look like your own domain.com slash my link. And he's going to be clicking on that and then go to the product. So for those people, you, you have that protection. Yeah, and also there are those people out there, um, It's I don't think it's happened to us, but they will actually <laughs> steal your affiliate link. They'll take it, copy, paste it, put their thing in there. That's link hijacking, basically. Yeah. So they'll actually hijack your link and take your commission. So, so that's another like your, reason for yeah, masking like it. Like your ClickBank link, they'll put their own ID in it instead of yours. Which, yeah, that's going to be a small percentage. But you know what? That's just another benefit of managing them through a central place like Pretty Links. Yeah, so check them out. Let us know what you think. If you use a link masking tool, tell us which one you use.